ducking for my life, trying to make sure so I don't get hit. And you telling me, you work, you telling me about shit. I don't, man, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to make sure I don't get hit. I don't, I'm, man, I'm driving. I'm trying to make sure I don't get hit. You know what I'm saying? I, what I'm going to be worried about? I, I know it's not for you to worry about. Shit, crazy, bro. But if you tell me it happened there, there's got to be some evidence there. There's going to be broken glass, just like there's broken glass over here from when you guys opened the, the doors and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's going to be broken glass over there when the windows got shot out. There's going to be casings from the people shooting at your car. Okay, there's going to be stuff, evidence over there. Okay, right now, there's nothing, okay? Now, I kind of think I know what happened because I got information. Hey, man, stay safe, world. You already know what's going on, man. We got to talk about this situation going on with YNW Portland. The YNW Melly co-defendant that basically got into a situation with police where they leaked the audio of what he basically went through in the interrogation room when he initially got caught up with the police during the whole incident that has you know ynw melly basically facing the death penalty man we're gonna get into it right now but before we do i'm gonna need you to like comment subscribe we're gonna run in this video man make sure y'all check out the merch too i just dropped new zip ups at super fire man only 30 bucks man tap in with that shit link in the description make sure y'all like comment subscribe man let's get it So it looks like the police leaked the audio from the YNW Borland interrogation and a lot of things are pretty crazy. First off, the police are basically coming at him and they're like, yo, like there's no evidence of a shooting that basically occurred. So we basically know what happened. And he still kept the same story, even though the story that he had made no sense at all. And he basically said that he was just driving and bullets started flying and he ducked down while driving, trying not to crash. Thankful he's alive. I mean, he's kind of probably telling the truth, you know, but that's not what the police wanted to hear. I guess the police wanted to hear the fact that he, uh, they think that he, his friend YNW Melly basically killed both of his friends from behind and he wanted him to say that even though, I mean, if you were in that situation, I don't know how you would say that, especially if you just witness your friends just get murked right in front of you. Obviously, wouldn't he be like quiet and not trying to talk because the dude that he's with is a fucking alleged psycho so it makes no sense for him to like risk his freedom to just say otherwise man but yo i mean they really don't have any evidence whatsoever in this ynw melly case that points to him being innocent honestly all the evidence is the opposite they have forensic evidence that basically shows that like the bullets came from inside the whip they have forensic evidence that basically shows like the pattern of blood in the whip that shows that it came from behind. They basically have evidence from triangulated cell phones that sort of show everything that went on with YNW Melly's location and him being in the back of the car and shit like that, man. Obviously, it's not looking good for his case. And it's just crazy that, you know, even throughout everything that he's still staying steady with his mans, you know, maybe they could beat that case if he just says nothing. But if they really did set that shit up, that shit is the dumbest setup ever, man. They left no evidence to make it seem like it. They just, yo, imagine how fried you have to be to just shoot in a car, then drive down the street and think, oh yeah, they're not gonna notice that all the bullets came in from like not the window and shit. They didn't even take time to like shoot outside the car you know in that type of situation wouldn't you like go outside the car and shoot from the outside into the whip and then shoot yourself to make it look like you got hit but no man these dudes definitely man it's fried man like honestly i can't even believe that shit that like they even if that's the case and they do get caught and go down for this shit it would be because they if this allegedly happened they didn't take the time to like actually make evidence and they just thought that they were good scot-free but you never know maybe someone did fire a gun and it didn't have any shell casings or anything like that i mean i guess that's what they're saying so it's gonna be interesting to see what the fuck is gonna go down when the actual trial goes on personally i'd have no idea and it looks like ynw melly is probably facing like the death penalty again if he loses this shit so you know it's like a life or death situation so they're gonna have to go hard with this shit at least in like the defense 
of it but you know the evidence is not on his side and it's gonna remain that way until new evidence really comes out maybe they'll have like an expert speak against that expert but they haven't really brought any new evidence all we really found out since the beginning of the trial was allegedly they were threatening his mom and shit like that man so i don't know man let me know in the comments what y'all think about that shit you think it's a rap for ynw melly or you think that this shit is just uh one big misunderstanding man let me know man real stay safe shit you already know what's going on make sure you like comment subscribe man peace